Global. East Skills and Don Perion in the building, man. Appreciate y'all for pulling up, man. It's an honor to be able to interview y'all, man. Y'all some definitely legends in the city, man, already. Uh, shit, I appreciate y'all coming out, man. What's up with y'all? Man. Opportunity, bro. Man. You know what I'm saying? You know, first of all, I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? We see what you're doing. We see the movement. You know what I'm saying? We've just seen you grow. So it's it's an honor to be here. You know what I'm saying? For the, for the future turn up. You know what I'm saying? We're going crazy. For sure. For sure. Now, see, let, let's start off at the beginning, man. Like, what started y'all path of DJing? Like, what made y'all want to be DJs? Uh, which I'll jump it off. Uh, well, for me, you know what I'm saying? Like, honestly, my thing was to open up a club. You know what I'm saying? Like, I went to school for business to open up, like, uh, a venue. And once I got to school, it, like, I ain't gonna lie, like, business was kicking my ass. Yeah. And I was like, I finna switch my major and I switched to Mass Comm. And from there, they put me on, like, the, the, the school radio station. Cause I was coming from Dallas, like, in 09. And this is when Dallas was hot. Right. So I had all the boogie songs, like, all that whole little wave. So they was like, you got all the, you should be a DJ. You got all the, this is like when Young Nation was hot. Uh, the role, like, like even Beat King, like, and I had all we had that wave, right. so I had all the jazz. This you should be a DJ, and I had just crossed Kappa, and uh, they and I was like a smooth ass nigga, so they was like, you should be like Don Perignon, like that shit. It's like that that whole pop, like that's lit. Yeah. And from then on, it was up, like DJing, sure. turning parties up, and like, can't say no more. It was up for sure, for sure. Now, like the transition from like college DJing to like the clubs, like what, like. How, how was that transition? Was it a big difference from college and like man, clubs? Man, big difference. Like, like man, my story was like, like, yeah, you had to start over, damn near. Cause I'm yeah, coming from yeah. college. I'm like one of the top uh, college DJs in East Texas, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. coming from college, I'm thinking like, I got the big head. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna come back to Dallas. I gra graduated, I already got a name, ain't jumping these clubs, but not knowing that in the city, it's, it's residence. You know what I'm saying? You got DJs that's been there for years already that got established names in. So I had to start my name from the bottom up. Right. And so I ended up getting into a, a hole in the wall like strip club. I ain't gonna, you say it's a hole in the wall, this hole used to jump. Uh, Dallas Cabaret North, yeah, my, yeah. my first club, you know what I'm saying, in uh, Dallas. And that's where I got my start and it's crazy. That's where the radio station found me in, in the strip club, you know yeah. what I'm saying? That was like a never before heard of because radio stations don't like really hired like d strip club DJs that usually don't mix you know what I'm saying so right. I was uh, uh blessed to, to be discovered by the radio station through the strip club you know what I'm saying that once I got on the radio that was my first time DJing in like main clubs you know what I'm saying once I to do like regular clubs I was a strip club DJ okay, you know okay. what I'm saying so that was a whole nother transition so it was just growing in different lanes of DJing of college to um, club to strip club you know what I'm saying it's all different Right, right, right. You know now, as a DJ, do you feel like you need to experience all them different lanes to to be like, elite. you know what I'm saying? Elite, elite. weddings yeah. too, yeah, yeah, like all that. Yeah. yeah, corporate events, non-corporate kid events. It's a difference. Like, it's two different Texas country music. You know what I'm saying? It's country right. music, then you got Texas country. Okay. So it is levels to it for real. Nah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Nah, like what? How big is y'all music catalog, bro? Like, you know what I'm saying? How many songs you think you got on your playlist? <sighs> I probably got over like. Five hours five, of music. Man, yeah. not even that, bro. I got some <laughs> months worth of music. You know what I'm saying? I probably got over like four, five hundred thousand songs. And again, like to answer your question, like it depends on what kind of bag you want. Like me, like, I need the bag. Like I, I like to live a lavish lifestyle, so I need that bag. You know what I'm saying? So I want to be able to DJ everything from quinceañeras to you know what I'm saying strip clubs to regular clubs to high schools to proms. So it's just really how much of a bag you want to get. Because if you mm -hmm. don't know how to DJ country, you can't take no country gigs. If you don't know how to DJ high schoolers, you only know how to DJ straight club or straight strip club, then you limited. You know, and you stuck. You yeah, know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. Now, shit, like, is it is it like? Is it unity within the DJs? Let me ask you that. There's a unity. There's a, yeah, okay. there's a unity. There's like a DJ bond for like everybody respect what you do and respect the culture. But like to be honest with you, DJing is a one man sport. It's like you're a business, you know what I'm saying? So okay. it's like at the end of the day, you still got to move, you know what I'm saying, in the best interest of you. You know right. what I'm saying? But yeah, you got coalition, you got people that's cool, you got people that mingle, you got people that's just, you know what I'm saying? Right, Keep right, that right. distance. Now, okay, now, how do DJs Break music. Man, you, these days, man, like the hype man, the MC, you know what I'm saying? How you how you dressing up the next song? You can do Wipe Me Down, you can talk Ratchet to the Room, or you can go to like a, a Money Bag Yo song, you can talk to the trap guys, you know what I'm saying? How you finna dress it up? So I really, the hype man, you know what I'm saying, play a good part of really co signing it. If I'm finna play a twerk song, I'm finna stop the music, I'm finna have my lady with their hands on their knees. You know what I'm saying? We finna find one and get behind one. You right, feel me? Right, right, right. We need some booties in motion. So it really like even that 
just kind of like segue to that. You know what I'm saying? It's like like hype man. You just gotta have that. How you gonna? Man, it's just so much to it, bro. That's how you like break it, though. Right, right. Like, and, and also, just to piggyback off that, it's just like, who co it? You know what I'm saying? The really, if you look at it, the whole thing is just a really big co That's the elevation of music and how you break somebody. Like, on the cool, how you break a song, you get it into all of the gatekeepers' hands and they all break it because really can't know one man really break a song. Right. You know what I'm saying? They take a conglomerate of DJs and of people in position to make a song and influence everybody to be like because it's almost like it's like your crowd kind of like zombies they love what they love and they in their trance you know what i'm saying right. music so you got you know what i'm saying baby you got don perry on peace skills you got duffy you got all these top names in the city they co-sign and say this is the hottest song right now like everyone's gonna don't believe, believe it's, it's the hottest song just like you telling yourself i'm the best blogger i'm the best song so you tell us you're gonna believe nah, same nice. thing with the people so if you got a bunch of dj joe's nobody you know what i'm saying whose influence or voice may not you know what I'm saying? Impact anyone, they can't really break a song because it's like no one's no one's like taking that influence. Facts, facts, facts. Now, how do you like? I mean, being y'all like household names at this point, like everybody know y'all names. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you? How you what's some advice you can give like an upcoming DJ that's looking up to y'all, like to get that stamp? Like how y'all got it? Uh, you gotta do it different, DJ. You gotta do it different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Especially these times that we in. Yeah. It's the perfect time. Like the quarantine, like you say, was a gift and a curse at the same time. You feel me? So right. if you're doing something, you gotta do it. You feel me? Like you sure. can't. You gotta really focus on one. Like me, I start off as a like a hype man. You feel me? Then like with the quarantine, I had to step up and be a mixer. You know what I'm saying? I'm DJing on her. You feel me? Doing the quarantine, so it was like I'd have been doing weddings, I'd have been doing events. I stepped in, and get on the Serato real quick. Like you go to the restroom or go get something to drink or whatever it is. But now, nah, sure, you gotta really be in there. You gotta know the BPMs. You gotta know the transitions. So it's levels to it, so you gotta learn the basics. Everything starts with the basics, you feel me? You get what you put out, you feel oh, me? So you put sure. in a 50% effort, you're gonna get 50% results. You put right. in that 95%, that with everybody else doing that 30%, you're gonna excel just off itself, you feel me? Like, yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, just like really know what you wanna do. Like if you're gonna be a DJ, like you gotta know your purpose. I feel like as a DJ, yo, like once you understand, like I be on another level with DJing just because I, I really love and I really understand the culture, you know what I'm saying, and how important it is. So I'm really just in tune with how important a DJ is, you know what I'm saying, to the culture. So my upcoming DJs is like, understand what you want to do it for. If you just want a hobby, you just really want to make a living off of it, you know what I'm saying? If you really just want to do it here part-time, you know what I'm saying, just know what your purpose is. And, and you once you know your purpose, you put all your passion into it. Right, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, 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 right. Now, shit, what, what's your favorite genre of music? Man. Shit, to be honest, like I like EDM. Okay. Like, like I, like, I keep hearing about EDM, bro. That, that, like, is it, is it because it's so lit, or is it? It's like, so, it's the simplicity. It's so, it's not too much going on. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's the, you know, vibes. Like, I worked at the Guitar Center for three, four years, so I had an open ear to see how it, the, the feeling that it give you. Okay. You know what I'm saying? From the breakdowns to the dun dun, it brings you, it takes you on a journey. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? Sometimes I like, I just like that feeling of, dun, and they'll take different samples. The, all the different kind of mashups they'll do, so I really enjoy it. You know, some weird, different. Like I didn't even know that shit, but they're like, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. As I listen to it, I'm like, bro, it's not that bad. It, yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a vibe. It's a sure. vibe. You gotta have a little yeah. acquire a taste for it. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. What about you? Uh, shit, I probably go with hip hop, man. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a b boy. You feel me? I started. Yeah. I was say old school with anything. You feel me? But okay, like, yeah, sure. on, yeah, the basics. You feel do, me? Do y'all feel like music is like? As far as rap music, do you feel like it's like really like dumbed down right now? Do you feel like bars are coming back? Man, bars be all over the place these days, man. It's just, <laughs> right, it's it's what make people feel they even about. But I don't think bars like like bars is definitely coming back. You know what I'm saying? But that's not what's moving the club. You know what I'm saying? Like right. again, if you're listening for bars, then that's what you're gonna check for. For like me, that being a club, you know what I'm saying? My life is about moving people and and setting feelings. It's like you know what I'm saying? I gotta. If it is dumbed down like this, that's what's moving the people. That's what's moving the people. So right. I definitely say it's definitely a, a, a wave of simplicity raps. You know what I'm saying? Ain't too much going on. It's something everybody can sing. And I mean, that's really a hit. You know what I'm saying? That's what make a hit a hit. For sure. For sure. Like a lot of people, I feel like they be mad at the DJs. They like, man, I, I rap better than them. Woo -woo. But it's like, you're not moving the Like you say, you're not moving the crowd. So like, how do y'all deal with people that want you to play their music all the time? Like they... With a rapper, let's say yeah. a rapper got a, a hot song in the streets, right. but it just hasn't, it just haven't moved to the club yet. But they like, man, you need to be playing my shit because everybody listen to it. Like, how do you go about dealing with that? Well, see me, I'm with us, we really in the game, so we be like on some other shit. Like, oh, your shit moving? Let me see your numbers. Oh, you be in my ass cap? We'll ask stuff to see if you really about your business because 
that's the whole thing. You gotta be the talent is like whatever. Right. It's 10% the business. Talent. It's, it's 10 percent talent. Really, 90 percent business because you can have a live song, but if you don't know how to market yourself, ain't nobody gonna hear it. If you don't know the, the one, two, three steps to get that song, because there's a lot of bull BS songs that's on the radio or that's in front of people because it was marketed the right way. Right. It was in front of people. It was uh, the business was done the right way to get it where it's at. You know what I'm saying? That's the whole thing. So. A lot of people we hit them with like budgets. Do you have a, a market demographic? Start hitting them with something. Oh, uh, now they don't know. You know what I'm saying? So it's just well, I'm on a different level. You know what I'm saying? You just can't. You got to do that with the, the the lower entry DJs. You know what I'm saying? They may play your stuff and do whatever. But I'm trying to. I'm really in it. So right. I want to see you grow. We talking about hits. We talking about. And then, you know, and then what he's saying is so true because we in Texas. We in right. Dallas. Like right. Dallas is is it's sizzling. You know what I'm saying? I've been watching this. Since I got to the, to the South in 08, when Obama won to presidency, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's when I got the Grammy. So you can see the South and you can hear the every weekend people running from the Grammy back to Dallas. You know what I'm saying? People from Dallas come to Grammy and we getting the songs. So, like, you can tell. So, like, right now, just like back in, like it was back in the day from the outside and looking in. So, yeah. anything that we talk, touching and seeing and putting in the individual eye, that's what we got to stand on. If it's weak, then it's like. We can't put get behind okay. that. Yeah, you know, I feel yeah. and it's it's like that's for the bloggers too. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like we play a big role in like the hot music that's coming out. Like that's, if we got our job, you know what I'm saying? So we go we go tell y'all, hey, this hot, mm -hmm. but we can't. As far as the business side of, I can't do all your business for you. I can just say, hey, you got a good song. Right now, it's up to you to take it and do what you're supposed to do with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Now, I, I do feel like Dallas is one of the hottest hottest goddamn markets in the in the America right now mm -hmm. like what do you think we can do more to keep it like to make it where people want to come here and interact with what we got going on instead of just coming in you know what I'm saying going about the, their day the hub got to flow together everybody got that like the system we got to come up with a system you know what I'm saying where everybody because everybody's important right. and everybody got to work together from the blogs the, the artists need the blogs to get attention to yeah. put the spotlight to put like keep their name in front of people right. blogs are so important yeah. Artists also need the DJs, you know what I'm saying? Us DJs, we need the good music to rock the people, you know what I'm saying? To give you that vibe, to influence the people that, hey, this is the livest, you know what I'm saying? Like, people know what's live, you know what I'm saying? But if you put the extra juice and sauce on it, it's like, okay, this song didn't sound live, but now that he keep talking and making it sound dope, okay, I like it now, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Nah, right. so, so it's just knowing, like, our hub, everybody working together, you know what I'm saying? We. It's there because Dallas is rising because the talent is there. I still don't think we got that system work to where we, because once we start really blowing people up, then it's going to be like, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's, it's happening. It's happening. The way, way it can work, or how, how I started across the street, you know what I'm saying? Now where I'm at, where I'm at now, Coca Cola and Pepsi, it's like everybody like to drink. You feel me? Yeah, you know nah, so sure. we got the power. I'm in the group message right now with Bay Bay. You know what I'm saying? So it was like being this DJ for, for four years, you know what I'm saying? Rocking the shows and schools and whatever, we know that it's here. It's yeah. elegant. It's in everything go viral. You know what I'm saying Ellen DeGeneres gave fifty thousand dollars to a school in Fort Worth. Mr. Mayfield out there, you know what I'm saying Fort Worth ISD. Everything in Texas a melting pot. Every right. three four months, five hundred thousand people moving to Texas. That's so I mean. we all get on the same page. And I, I'm on the radio Monday through Friday. You the blogger, you know what I'm saying? There's other bloggers. You did, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to them. I'm saying everybody doing it. Everybody on the same page. Monday Metroplex Monday. What's popping in the metro place? All the bloggers talk about the same one thing. Get on the same, the same, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Then Texas Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? By that time, everybody in the city knows she's getting on our phone right now. It's Texas Tuesday. Let me play my part. I got a real code. You're giving out too much yeah. So I'm saying I'm gonna give Dallas Lowe, but you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna play it. They're gonna copy. They're gonna copy. I'm gonna make sure it's you though, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go Rest right here on Dallas Globe, you know what I'm saying? Stop playing, you know what I'm saying? We giving out big gems. Nah, for sure, for sure. Y'all definitely gave a lot of game in this interview so far, but P Skills, bro, you know what I'm saying? You like you said, you started off somewhere else. When you got to 97.9, like I feel like you bought like just flavor to the to the station for me, cause I start hearing songs and shit that like I'm like, damn, they playing this on the radio, yeah. and this on the time you spend it. So I'm like, damn, P Skills doing this thing, you know what I'm saying? So like, do you feel like you have you got more control over? Stuff that you do now that you with 979? Uh, I mean, it's more of a, I say in a humble way, it's just like, just knowing that we be in the schools and you be, you gotta be in the culture to know what's going on. And being, had a, had a, what you wanna call it, like the, the experience, you know what I'm saying? Already right. being in the, you know what I'm saying? Like Lil Snoop, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing way, way before Meek Mill met him. So it's just knowing that we more the, in the streets. And I got my start in the street team. So I know what Dallas got to offer. I know every night that, 
man, Dallas go go viral. That one kid, uh, Jesse Reyes, he was the white kid playing the guitar in Irving about three or four years ago. You know what I'm saying? People just saw it in the support system in Texas. It's yeah. so easy to get support in Texas. You just got to have it to see it. Right, right, and Once right. you have that, you know what I'm saying, to see it, then it's there. So, but to get to the question, it's like, it's like me seeing it and knowing it from the hard work of the trenches, quote unquote. Like Mo three ran up on me and uh, DJ Swerver. We was driving a truck over in North Dallas, and he ran up on us. I think he like a middle schooler from uh, a middle schooler. He was like, "Hey, what's up, yeah. man? What's up, what's up, man?" Yeah. I'm like, "Hey, what's up, long?" He was like, "We take a picture with you." Like, "Yeah, take a picture." And we driving off, and then I told him, talking to Swerve. He like, "Yeah, bro, that was Mo three. I was like, "What?" You talking about this man hold your tongue? He was yeah. like, "Yes." So to see that we really in the streets and we really interact with these people on one on one, you know, two on two is like seeing everything happen. You know, say from outside, I'm like, damn, that's all they need to be yeah. new to be to be in New Atlanta. You feel me? Is everybody got to be on one page? I'm like, come on, bro. You feel me? So yeah. it's just really seeing it and being able to be in a position to do it. So now I see a blogger out here really want to talk about it, and it's Texas, man. We sizzling. It's hot. Nah, for sure. Like hot, hot. So not to get away from the question, but you just got to be on one page. Nah, for sure, for sure. Now, do you feel like artists these days still need the radio? Yeah. Yeah, that's like 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 that's like the cherry on. Uh, like I said, you need everything, bro. You need you need from the streets. You know what I'm saying to the radio. You know what I'm saying the radio is like the, the cherry on top. You know what I'm saying after you mm -hmm. did, did the work and, and put the fan base, and that's like the that's gonna take you international. You know what I'm saying. Right. So that's where that still is important to play a part. You know what I'm saying. So, right, right. Now, how does that work? Like when your when your when your record hits the radio, like what exactly does it like? How does it grow you as an artist? Is it because it's like we kind of you, you feeding it to the public over and over again, or is it just like think a about, bigger scale? Think about it as like advertising for you. It's like the more now you, your name, your song is being advertised all over the world all the time. So now people are starting to know your, your name. So now they're going to support whatever you do. Now the money comes from when they want to book you. We keep hearing about brand. this song. About your brand. brand is growing. You know what I'm saying? That's what the radio do. It stamps your brand. It makes you, you are official. You have an official hit. You have an official song. It's yeah. done. It's done the groundwork of getting a fan base, growing a following, getting legs up under it. Everyone's streaming it. The numbers, the Spotify's, this is what all the radio stuff look for. There's another gem. This is make sure you Spotify numbers, your Apple numbers, all that is, is what the radio look at to finally say, hey, this is a hit. Everyone's playing it. Everyone's listening to it. Now this song is officially. And notice he's saying it. He's not saying them, not your right. album. Your hit, your brand. You walk right. up to me, is you Big Stepper? Is you Ice Rolling? Is you Curtains? Is you Cameraman? Is you is you saying like Target Lot? Or is you Big Stepper? You know what I'm saying? My boy Big Stepper, you know what I'm saying? He Big Stepper, he branded it. You know what I'm saying? Right. He went to Atlanta. He right. branded it, K Twan. Shout out K Twan. Yeah, K Twan, yeah. 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 Big Stepper, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Riding around getting paid. For that, that hey. jam, you know yeah. what I'm saying? With Atlanta, it jam. Yeah. Gotta, gotta talk to the right people, bro. That's it, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, he on his way, man. For sure, for sure. Now, me and my partner argue about this, bro. And he was like, if it's, if like, radio only play hits. So if you don't have a hit, you're not going to be on the radio. You know what I'm saying? If your song is on the radio, you got a certified hit. So you telling me that's a fact. That's a fact. Okay. And, like, yeah, again, a hit. Again, and, and, and when I say a hit, meaning it got to be friendly, too. Like, it got to be, like, a hit. A radio, it got to be a radio hit. You know what I'm saying? That's, like... In the today's world, you don't really know what anything can be a hit nowadays. It get enough, it go viral, it become a hit, mm -hmm. and you gotta play it. You know what I'm saying? Because it went viral. And some people actually, there's a, a way, there's a there's a beat, there's a certain sound that you gotta go for to make a radio hit. So a lot of like major artists, you know, they understand it. It's how they run. So they will be like, hey, you gotta make a radio hit. You right. know what I'm saying? So you gotta have a fun, friendly, and then some stuff just grow organically from everybody just rock with it. You know what I'm saying? So there's a couple of different ways to have a hit, but. Yeah, you definitely gotta have a head. Once the radio picked that up, you official, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing this for six years now, and me like being in the streets and seeing the attention at the clubs and whoever rocking the stage, cause you gotta be seen. Right. You gotta see it to work, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, your song nice, night, but do they say it's nice? I go to these go to these shows and they do three songs a piece, and he do one, two, three, and one was weak. Two was like, all right, and then three was like, damn, why you ain't start with this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta go three, two, one versus you know what I'm saying, one, two, three, however right. your, your set is, but you gotta get that one. Right. And once you get that one, like find one and get behind one, that's that one cosign. You gotta have like three, four, five, six that's behind it, that's better than that one. Right. You feel me? That's like that's you, do you feel like do you feel like if you having a hit too soon ruins somebody's career too? Like let's say you have one song that just banger and you just never follow up with that. Is that, are you done? 
I mean, it, again, it depends on like what you want to do. If you want to be a, a, a everlasting artist, because all you need is one hit. Like my thing is like I would like to make a hit to take care of my family and to be debt free and to be good. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't really just need the fame. I don't need like all of that. But like if that one hit, I can take care of my like go like uh, uh, what's the name? Um, sound like Future good design. uh, Designer. Good design. yeah. That one song went diamond. He ain't got a rap. It don't matter if none of his songs go nothing. <laughs> He's good for life. You know what I'm saying? I think that's the overall goal and purpose. Of just whatever you're doing, you know what I'm saying? It's to be able to live debt free, uh, life free, you know what I'm saying? And be able to take care of your family. So, um, again, if you want to be an artist to be here for the next 10 years and you love music, you just want to continue to put out songs, of course, you're going to try to make better music and, you know what I'm saying, you're going to try to grow as an artist. But, nah, you just need one hit to be good. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Nah, now, do y'all think, go ahead. I'm saying you just always want to get, a, you want to grab somebody's attention versus get somebody's attention. Right, you right, ride to it. That's why you, that's how you really determine. Like you got a hot song. Yeah. What's the hardest song going right now? This is I, a real gym. I'm glad you said that though. So like, what if like, okay, you pushing the record, right? It's not just hot yet, but you trying to push it. How long do you feel like artists should push one record? Man, Man. music has no time limit, bro. You yeah. gotta like, like for instance, Freddie Wap's song that the uh, Trap Queen didn't take off. To after a year after him pushing it, he had, was pushing it as a single, just going to the BET shows, just hey, here's my single. Like, he pushed it for a year, yeah. and it and it finally took off, and then it's a hit. So it's like this out two years. Yeah, like two first. Yeah, the song made two years ago, I but it finally it. took off. Yeah, 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 so yeah. music you just has no just put it out there. That's that's what they say. Just put it out. Like all you rappers that be trying to sit on music or trying to wait on the right hit, you don't know what the people gonna grab it to to because it's always about the people. It's what they like. Right. Just because you and your homies think it's a hit. Don't mean it's a hit. It's what the people like, you know what I'm saying? So if you put out your music and it slowly grow feed, it could take a year, it could take six months. But if you know your business, it could take two months because you didn't follow the plan of one, two, and three. But man, I say just, just put it out. It take it could take any time. It ain't no. It take sixty in. seconds and you link with the right people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying? Hey. Look. So, so, so do y'all feel like DJs are underappreciated yeah, in these yeah, songs? Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. Oh man, that, that's a whole. Because the strippers took the attention away. It was like, man, they break <laughs> records. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. They was breaking everything. You know what I'm saying? No offense to the strippers. You know what I'm saying? We love you, but you know what I'm saying? It took it took a little bit of the pressure off the DJ at the same time. But that's who break it. You know what I'm saying? That's who people come. It's the consumer. You feel? Yeah, right. It's all about tune in versus tune out. So, so now yeah. shit, now the light team eleven show, bro, like. Did I say it right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 1911 show. show, 1911 show. How, how, how did y'all come up with the name, man? And what made y'all go into, like, putting out records for you for yourselves? Uh, well, like, so he's a Q-Dog and I'm a Kappa. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So on some, you know what I'm saying, just uh, HBCU, you know, hit a little history, you know, knowing, knowing about your fraternities. Uh, uh, my uh, chapter was founded in uh, 1911. That's okay. when our fraternity was founded, and his chapter was also founded in 1911. Oh, okay, so okay. that's where, you know, two different entities, but the same year, that's okay. where the name came from. And then also just like 911, the emergency, who you call when you need your party turned up. So it, everything, every number got like a certain little deeper meaning, you know what I'm saying? So it sure. all fit and worked together. So, mm -hmm. so now the final one get behind one, bro. When I seen Juice J on that shit, I was like, bro, what the fuck? Like, you know what I'm saying? Juice J, that's a legend. You know what I'm saying? And y'all got him on a track, and y'all did the video. You know what I'm saying? So, like, how did that even come about? Like, man, I had a, and he was just doing a press run, which uh, like a Travis Scott press run. He had a song, I think it was the neighbor song. Uh, it was like in the end of November. You feel me? Uh, going yeah. about a year and a, a year ago, a year and a half ago now. You know what I'm saying? And he pretty much was coming through for a press run. And it's just me just going to work, you know what I'm saying? I got an email saying he's going to be in town. It was a Thursday. I know he had, uh, I told him about it, you know what I'm saying? A couple of the other DJ came to the to the station and saying Zay was up there. You feel me? And Shout out to Hollywood, Zay. Yeah, one time Zay came through and it was just vibes. I interviewed him. Then we was wrapping up the conversation, we were wrapping up the uh, interview. And I was like, I know I got to get some content on Friday. So I just wanted him like a freestyle to a rap to a beat. Just anything, yeah. but with corporate America, you said you can't play this any kind of beat, you know what I'm saying? Okay. On social media, so I'm like, man, let me go on my email, get something. But like, that was a chant that developed in the club when we was rocking with each other, so we already kind of built a brand. We were just tell you about, like, man, we need some booties in motion, we yeah. need some booty, find one, get behind one. So we already built that 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 chant. So we finally, like, little Ronnie took it around the country, you know what I'm saying? Him and Noah, they were starting their shows off saying, hey, find one, get behind one. It was just branded, it was just growing. But long story short, uh, we had just 
finally sat down and made a beat. You know what I'm saying? The night before, like that Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, we produced it like in my room. In my, I got, I got, I got, I got a condo and I got a music room right across the street from the radio station type shit. Mm. And I, I was like, bro, before you go to work, bro, come lay down the hook, bro. We finna produce it. I got me and my co-producer. We came up with the beat and he came and just laid down the hook. You know what I'm saying, man? Shout out my uh, producer uh, before Quattro. Um, we we did the beat in like ten minutes. You know what I'm saying? Mm. We put the thing together and um, he laid down the hook and he went to work. And then like I said, the next day. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Juicy J stopped yeah. by and uh, he, I think he was wrapping up the show. And I, and then, in my email, I saw the beat. I just played that bad boy. And then, you know, he was like, it was like eight, nine seconds into the song. He was like, he was like, ooh, what's this? And it's like, it all happened on camera. Like, yeah, we, uh, we got it's, it. it's an interview. And it's just the end of the interview, he's like, ooh, what's this? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, this? Man, it's BIM. We was calling it BIM. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Booties in motion. You feel uh -huh. me? Yeah. And, then, and I was like, yeah, we do it in the club. I'm just giving a rundown, like how I started. Man, we got it in the club. We was a chant. You know what I'm saying? We on live on radio. We in the club. We're trying to get people. He like, that's hard. Yeah. I'm going to get on there. Like, like what? Like, we thinking think this industry talk like that. He, he trying to be like, be, like we like, I'm not thinking no more. I'm like, and he like, I'm going to get on it, bro. Like, like send me the beat. And we yeah. like, all right, all right, man, man. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm for us, shook his hand. He was like, hey, Tim. He's like, he's like, hey, Tim. Get us information. <laughs> and woke up Monday morning, full verse, bro. Damn. Full song. Full song. Not yeah. a verse. I know just a hook. You and, know what I'm saying? And he went crazy. He ain't gonna do no bullshit. Like he went crazy on both yeah, verses. Yeah, like, man, shout out to, to Unk, man. That's Unk now. You yeah, know what I'm saying? He, he, he sure. definitely check in, make sure we good. And, and and man, we got a friend in the industry, you know what I'm saying? And that's just come with your platform and who we connected to. And you know what I'm saying? The city you need to know that, you know what I'm saying? Cause that that's what how we connect the city, you know what I'm saying? Sure. And what we got going. So let me ask y'all this. Did y'all ever go out with Juicy J? Did we go out like, with him? Like to a club setting? Oh, uh, not yet, not yet, not yet. Not the club, cause okay, okay, we, okay. we was on business. Everything yeah, was yeah, business. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Sure, sure. Sure. I did yeah. not know he'd be lit. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. No, like on the video shoot, when we flew out there to shoot the video, like we was lit. Like, he, man, when I tell you so down to earth, bro, he cool. Yeah. Like that's unk for real, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, sure. like, man, we was lit. For sure, for sure. Now, shit, can we expect a project from y'all coming soon? Oh yeah, it's on the way. Like we got, we got some shit on the way. Like to drop on y'all head. I'm talking about some heat, yeah. and that's just really what we want to do with the city. Like being at DJs, like we know the sound, we know what's hot, we know we got the ear. You know what I'm saying? It's what we do every day. So the thing was like, if we put together hits and take our upcoming artists with talent, combine them with major artists, now we doing something for the city. We putting people on. We and not only we doing that, we learning the process of how the stuff go. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. you know what I'm saying? So like, Jay Carlos, for, for example, Jay Carlos with DJ Lou Nasty. Uh -huh. Jay Carlos he used to be a prime all the time. He used to be singing Nikon Beast, the cameraman. That's yeah. his cousin. He was free for you feel me? Yeah. He can sign, he can't sing, he can sing. He can sing. He can sing. Alright, we're gonna change your life. Yeah. Pull in Luke Nasty. We need you on, you know what I'm saying, body down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So Relationships. You know what I'm saying? saying? Nah, sure. and, but yeah, we got a project. It's, it's definitely coming soon and I'm talking about names. Like I'm all talking, we the got the artists, upcoming, any upcoming artists out of Dallas, you know, so we probably got on it already. So sure. it's yeah. going crazy. Show, sure, show. Sure. Now I know people probably come to y'all all the time, asking, "How can I get my song on the radio? How can I do this?" Like, give us some game about. They got advertising, bro. Once you become yeah. a client, then your question, your, your conversation changes. Right, Be a right. client. That's it. You right, feel right. me? Spin the, go ahead, spin the win. Yeah. <laughs> That's it's what station. I say. Yeah. Yeah. Spin yeah. the win. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But okay, okay. Uh, but it's different promo packages to emphasize on there. Like, what are you talking about? No, you got it's, it's different advertising. It's like a hundred dollar post, two hundred fifty dollars just. Taking over the site, you know what I'm saying? That's right. a verified Take, account. Taking over all your, like I said, that's just one lane, you know what I'm saying? Just that's the, that the, the station opened that uh, lane up, you know what I'm saying, to help artists out. Then again, just doing the groundwork in the clubs, knowing the right people, knowing the right DJs, or knowing the people in position, bro. All that go hand in hand to, you know what I'm saying, get your song on the radio. Because again, sure. radio is the cherry on top. It's the ding after you've already shined the hub now. It's just because the time's changing, you know what I'm saying? But you got at least 30 people who believe in you, turn that 30 into 60. Turn that 60 people into 120 to 220. So when you hear that song on the radio, versus, how about, what sound better? What Instagram? What's that? Jump it. Nah, for real. But if you got one of them kind of hits, then you need to 911. Let me hear it then. You know what I'm saying? You hit, all right, we can bypass, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, we just been blessed with the opportunity, you know what I'm saying? And do the groundwork. To put us in position to change yeah. lives, you know what I'm saying? Nah, for yeah, sure, yeah. sure. Nah, y'all got the regular K Breezy. Did y'all finish the challenge giveaway yet? Uh, no, it come out July 3rd. July 3rd. That's okay, when I'm gonna drop that winner. The winner has to do the challenge, you know what I'm saying? Excuse me, do your own dance to it. You know what I'm saying? $500. You feel me to the first place? And then in quarantine, I know somebody needed, you know what I'm saying? Shit. I damn near need it. I'm trying to my video on the way too. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. The 250 with the prize pay, and you to be in the video. 
in third place, you get a hundred dollars, and we got a prize pack with merchandise coming for you too. Nah, so sure. yeah, we just want to love. Excuse me. On all platforms. Sure, so, so, bro, I appreciate y'all coming out, man. It's definitely a classic interview. Y'all dropped a, a, a bunch of gems. Is it anything I missed? Sure. Man. Follow, follow my Instagram, bro. Uh, our Instagram together is at the one nine eleven show. show. Okay. T H E the one nine eleven show. One time for music access. And you can uh, follow me at DJ Don Perion and uh, P Skills Club. But you see everything on our one nine eleven show page. For sure. Make sci fi deuce dog gamma gamma fall twelve. Hey, 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 hey. Deuce Alpha Kai nineteen thirty five. You know what it is. Fast so nice. And it twice. You did. Yes, yeah. sir.